Welcome to the Material Testing Laboratory. I am Prabha Mohandas, PhD scholar in BTCM Division, Civil Engineering Department at IIT Madras. Today, I am going to talk, explain about how to do tension test for pre-stressing strands. Typically, pre-stressing strands are uh, widely used in bridge structures, railway sleepers, and high-rise buildings. And these strands are high-capacity strands of about 100 to 200 kilonewton depending on different size of the bars. So it is very important to characterize those strands to meet the acceptance criteria to be used in the structures. So what are those acceptance criteria? So in tension test, we will be getting the different parameters like yield strength of the materials, elastic modulus of the strand and ultimate load of the strand and ductility of the strand. Typically, three types of uh, strands are being used in uh, pretension or pre-stressed concrete systems. Those are three-wired strands, which has a uh, six mm diameter. And next one or seven-wired strands with 12.7 mm diameter, which is typically used in pretension concrete systems. And the next one, our 15.2 mm diameter strands Again, this is also seven wire strands, which is typically used in post-tension concrete structures. So today, I am going to do testing on this 12.7 mm diameter strand. So to meet those uh, specific uh, criteria to for the acceptance thing, core has specified minimum uh, requirements for each parameters. For example, um, the 12.7 mm strand should have the nominal diameter of 12.7 plus or minus. So we have uh, uh, standard specifications which gives the minimum criteria for the acceptance purpose. So in India, we have IS 14262. That is a specification used for uh, pre-stressing strands. And we have uh, ASTM A1061. Again, that is also being used for uh, pre-stressing strand 7 wire. So now we can uh, start doing the testing for uh, seven wire strands. Before starting the testing, we need to do specimen preparation and uh, certain me measurements for the calculation purpose later. So we need to have vernier apparatus to measure the uh, nominal diameter of this strand. And we have uh, dial gauge to measure the elongation of the strand during the testing. And we have the scale to measure the length of the strand before we place the strands in the testing machine. So basically, strand is made of seven wires, six outer helical wires, and one center king wire. So to get the correct area of the strand, you need to measure the uh, individual outer diameter of the strand, and then king wire, and some of that to get the actual area of the strand. So you have to measure the nominal diameter of the strand using vernier caliper. Then we can measure the pitch length of the strand. So we need to measure the gauge length for placing this dial gauge on the strand to measure the elongation during the testing. So once the gauge length is fixed, we can prepare the uh, gripping portion of the strand. So we need to, um, so for any tension test, gripping is very important because we need to avoid stress concentration near the wedges. So basically when we apply uh, lateral pressure while gripping that will induce stress concentration and that may affect the result. So once we get the dimensions of the uh, strand, we will next prepare the uh, end region of the strand for uh, gripping the strand in the ma machine. So we need to be careful uh, while gripping because we need to avoid stress concentration which will affect the results. ASTM specification gives we need to use special cushioning device to avoid stress concentration near the ends. So for that purpose, we have prepared this hardened aluminum plate, which can be placed at the end of the strands for gripping purpose. So you can see the grooves made on the plate on which strands will be placed. And during testing, we may face some slipping. So to avoid that, ASTM specification has given to, suggested to use aluminum oxide oil slurry made using glycerin. And we have 
place the clamp at both ends, make sure that the stand is not slipping or rotating during the testing. Now we have prepared the uh, specimen for the tension test. Once the specimen is ready, we have to mount the specimen on the machine for the tension testing. So before getting into the testing, I will just brief about the tension machine that we are going to use. We have this universal testing machine from MTS. The machine capacity is 1000 kN, which is fully servo hydraulic controlled. And this is the uh, hydro hydraulic control system, which will be used to, to apply the lateral pressure for uh, gripping the strands. And this controls we have to move this upper portions to place these strands. Now we have uh, placed the strand on the machine for the testing. Once the strand is fixed, preload is applied to keep the strand straight. Typically, 10% of its breaking strength will be applied as a preload as per the standard specifications. Once the dial gauge is fixed, you need to measure the gauge length. That is the distance between the two knife edges of the dial gauge. Then you need to measure the gap length, that is the distance between the upper and lower uh, grip to get the total deformation or total elongation of the strand at the end of the testing. So during the test, you need to monitor the dial gauge uh, reading to get the elongation at different intervals of loading. Typically, we will be taking the uh, dial gauge reading at every 10 kN interval till it reaches its yield strength. Once it has reached its yield strength, we need to remove this dial gauge from the strand to avoid the damage when the strand is rupturing or breaking at the later stage. Once the dial gauge is removed, we will continue the uh, test till the strand breaks or till the strand reaches its ultimate strength. Once the dial gauge is fixed, to capture the post peak behavior, we are using a displacement control method. Basically, we are applying 2 mm per uh, minute loading weight. So, now we will uh, start the testing. So, now we have the computer program to run the test and capture the uh, load and displacement data. Uh, we use 2 mm per minute. Uh, displacement rate to apply the load. So typically displacement control test are preferred to capture the post yield behavior of the material. Then once it has reached its yield strength, there will be a detection, indication to remove the uh, dial gauge and the dial gauge will be removed once it reaches its yield strength. Then we will continue the uh, test till the specimen fails. Then the uh, load and uh, displacement will be recorded. So here we have the computer program to run the test. So which is initially um, displacement rate of 2 mm per minute is used to apply the load. Displacement control rate is preferred because we need to capture the uh, post peak behavior also. Then the load will be increased gradually to reach its yield strength. Once it has reached its yield strength, there will be an indication to remove the uh, dial gauge from the strand and dial gauge will be removed. Then the test will be continued to reach its ultimate strength or the specimen fails. Then the load and displacement will be recorded, get the stress strain behavior of the pre-stressing strands. So while test is running, here you can see the load 
displacement behavior of the strand and now you can see the load is linearly increasing and the force and the displacements are shown at the bottom of the screen. Meanwhile reading will be taken, dial gauge reading will be taken at every uh, 10 kN interval. So now this indicates that specimen has reached its uh, close to its yield strength and now we can remove the dial gauge from the strand. done with the testing and our stand specimen has failed by uh, breaking off a single wire first followed by second wire, third wire and almost all the outer wires has broken. The first wire has broken at the center then the rest five wires has broken at the near the upper gripping point of the strand and you can see nice flower shape failure of the strand if it is properly uh, grip from the test stresses, from the software we can get the load displacement uh, data. Using the data we can obtain the stress strain profile of the pre-stressing strands. From the stress strain curve we can get the yield strength from the initial slope of the stress strain plot, then the yield strength of the strand, then the ultimate strength where the first wire has failed. Then finally the ductility or the uh, total elongation of the strand. This plot shows the uh, axial force and displacement uh, behavior for the pre-stressing strand. Based on this axial force you can get the uh, you can calculate the uh, stress applied dividing the axial force by the area of the strand and uh, strain can be calculated by obtaining the uh, axial load and displacement from the software and this plot shows the axial force and displacement behavior of the pre-stressing strand and from this data we can obtain the stress strain behavior of the pre-stressing strand and this initial portion can be used to obtain the elastic modulus of the strand and this indicates where the yield strength of the strand and this indicates the uh, ultimate strength of the strand where the first wire has broken and the load has dropped and when the subsequent breakage of the outer wires load is further dropped and finally you, this will indicate your total elongation of the strand which can be used to, to obtain the ductility of the material. In this section we have uh, learned how to do tension test for the pre-stressing strand, how, you, how do you need to prepare the strand specimens and the test procedure for uh, tension test and procedure for obtaining the stress strain behavior of the pre-stressing strand. Thank you.